Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Primitive Plus on the island. So, um, I mentioned that we were just kind of testing this out, but I'm really enjoying it. So I think we're going to make an actual season out of it. We're still going to continue the season on the volcano um, for a while. So, don't worry about that. I'm going to maybe alternate days or something like that, but I have been enjoying this quite a bit. So I'm thinking this is where we are going to build uh, in this area here at... Uh, 50 45 ish so not only is it in the center of the map but it's pretty close to the snow over there and it's not in that right down the river is the swamp plus we're on the water and right next to the redwoods and why is my map going away um so i think this is a fantastic spot especially because we're making the server extra hard by disabling flyers and disabling gigas oh by the way if you do enjoy the video do me a favor and subscribe share and like the whole thing thanks uh so what we need to do now is start getting some materials ready to start building just a little hut for a bed I still got to figure out how all the primitive plus stuff even works So I'm gonna gather up a bunch of materials make a little stone hut and maybe uh, get things going All right guys, so we have got the frame of our lumber house built up or like the shell of it rather so this lumber stuff is looking a little busy. I'm kind of thinking I should have mixed it with something else. But one thing that I cannot stand to see those big old gaps, they, the stuff does not line up quite right and it's all over the place. Now, part of it's okay because it does make it look like a, uh, you know, like a rickety old lumber house or whatever, but uh, still kind of a bummer. But check it out, we have a little deck up there. So here's what we got. We go into the front door. We got kind of a main room. Then we got two side rooms. One's gonna be a kitchen and one's gonna be like a bedroom. A little one bedroom house. And we're gonna have a loft upstairs where we can store stuff, kind of an attic, which of course then leads to a deck, but I have to duck to get out. <laughs> There's a little deck up here, maybe we'll put a little grill up here or something. Have some good times. So there are a lot more aesthetic and like role play style things in Primitive Plus. Um, so like different kind of tables and chairs and whatnot. So I think we're gonna make up a bunch of that stuff and kind of dec decorate the house. Also there is uh, glass so we got glass windows glass doors glass ceilings and whatnot so we might maybe use a little of these sloped ones uh, and also some well, actually what do those take i didn't even look a uh, glass window okay it takes glass all right and iron ingots because i'd like to fill all these windows with actual glass panes i think that would be cool so uh oh by the way i don't think i talked about it. the way you guys actually build the lumber stuff is you make these lumber stations and you put a bunch of wood in them and then it makes wood planks uh, it does take a while so i have two going to do it because i need more uh, and then you use that mixed with stone to make the actual lumber pieces and i believe it's a little bit stronger than wood it's got thirteen thousand health does wood have 10 i don't remember but i do know the same things that can damage wood damage that so if we were going to do a lot of pvp on the server that would be a bad choice but I'm kind of going for a more bigger, spread out, slightly more aesthetically pleasing kind of build this time. Um, so what does it take to make the glass? Did I learn glass yet? Uh, glass. Glass. It said it took glass, right? Am I crazy? It takes glass. Well, how the heck do we make glass? I don't see it. Look here. Glass, no. Construction table. Glass, no. Here. Glass. Not seeing glass anywhere. There's glass pane, which takes glass, so that's not it. I have no idea how to make glass. I might have to look it up. Nonetheless, I'm gonna get some of this aesthetic stuff built up. Let's check in here. No, and it wasn't in here either, right? Magnum, <laughs> no, 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 no. Unless it just means crystal. See, do we have a little bit of crystal? Did they change the name of crystal? Nope, still crystal. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that, how that all works. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna build up some aesthetic stuff and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. So we have got a lot of the stuff for the kitchen built up. We have a fruit press, which is essentially a juicer, a cooking station, a cooking pot, a, uh, what is this one? Uh, baker's oven a cauldron and a primitive grill. Um, if there's no room, I may throw the grill out on top in the deck area, but I'd prefer to put it in here because it's kind of like the stove. So I'm thinking, how are we gonna do this? Uh, so this area kind of we should probably keep clear for walking purposes. The cauldron, 
Ooh, that could be like a middle of the room kind of thing, because it looks like it doesn't want to be super close to the walls. Okay, let's look at the baker's oven. Oh, that's definitely a corner piece. Ah, beautiful. And what do you, uh, what do you use? You use uh, wood thatch to make fire? Okay, perfect. And then maybe, where do we got the grill, the cooking pot. Well, how close can the cooking pot get to the wall? Ah, I hate when pieces can't get so close. <laughs> Okay, because there's not really a whole lot of room in here for middle things. Go about the fruit press right here. Yeah, I'm liking the way that looks. Get real close and do one of these. Let's turn it a bit. Turn it a bit back the other way. Kind of center it. And that's, that's where our fruit press goes. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have got the... Man, I'm getting all sorts of messages. Okay, we've got the cooking pot. The cauldron and the stove. Oh, we can definitely fit all this stuff. Oh, and the cooking station. Let me clear these out so I can see a little better. All right, so let's look at the uh, cooking pot. This could be a good spot for it if it'll fit, but if not, okay, what about the stove? What about the grill right here? Okay, do one of these dealios. Yeah, kind of a little centered right there. Perfect. So we got our grill, our baker's oven, our fruit press, and then we can do our cooking station over here, kind of in the middle, I'm thinking. Yeah, just like this. Right up against the wall. Oh, not in the wall, though. Just like that. And then we have the cauldron and the cooking pot. So the cauldron, I guess, ah, I hate how they, it won't let me put it against the wall. What's the closest I can get? Right there? That's not even like remotely close. That might be, have to be a middle piece, I'm guessing. All right, we'll go cauldron. And now can we still move around that pretty easy? Yes, and the last one is the cooking pot, which I guess we'll throw in this corner best we can. Though I guess we could put the cooking pot outside. I don't even know if it'll let us place it over here because of the room issue. Ooh, I got a green. No? Okay. Well, I doubt we'll use the cooking pot much at all. So I think we're going to go ahead and throw that outside on the deck. Um, we'll pretty much only use it for like special events or something because the other stuff's better. So we'll go ahead and throw this just right there. Beautiful. Uh, but for a lot of the special events, like the Christmas events, the Halloween events and whatnot, you need the cooking pot to make stuff. So it's nice to have one available. So there we go, we'll throw a few shelves here as well. Um, now, I know they have, what's the equivalent of a fridge? They have something, let's take a look. So, uh, no tanning rack, no, that's to make leather. Water tower, preserving campfire, uh, preserve some stuff, and I think it dr dries out crops. Meat preserving shed. That's got to be it. Can't, I can't learn that yet. How big is that, you think? If it's small enough to fit in here, so we'll have to build that and check it out first. Um, but I can't learn it yet because I need more Ingram points. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make some more aesthetic stuff, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so we added a ton of little touches to our house, but also, check this out. We made a little area here. Um, there's a number of different fire pit and campfire type things that come along with the Primitive Plus uh, mod or expansion or whatever it is. So we have a preserving campfire, which... Uh, you can put things in there and it smokes them and makes increases the spoilage timer, I guess. There's also a large campfire, which has six slots. And of course, the regular campfire we all know only has three. And then a bonfire as well, which I which also cooks. Um, so I don't really need all of them, but I figure, yeah, I might as well make them since it's in the mod and we're just kind of checking stuff out. I'll put a bunch of benches and chairs around, just make it kind of a little thing. Also, uh, they have a mailbox. So I think you can actually send mail? like send items from one place to another. Uh, someone told me that they're gonna remove that. But uh, for now, that's kind of a cool little touch to have inside. And then inside we've added some ceiling lights, which we can just barely reach if we get right in the right spot to put fuel in, which I have not done yet. We added the fireplace, um, you know, barrel, some storage areas, firewood holder, uh, just kind of make it look a little bit better in the kitchen. So we did move the cauldron over a bit, move the table over a bit so that we had room for these preserving sheds, which from best I can tell are essentially preserving bins in Vanilla Ark. Uh, so they're kind of like the, the closest thing we have to a refrigerator here. 
So they do, you know, increase the spoilage timers and the whole deal. And in here is where we put the bed and, uh, you know, just a couple of nice touches like the lantern and whatnot. Uh, also, put up a war map, which I've never actually used, but I figure I might as well make one since it's the kind of stuff we're working on. So the next thing that we need to build is a... Oh, we also moved our lumber stations over here. We need to build some kind of crafting room, some kind of crafting shed or barn or something. So I'm going to put all the crafting stations in uh, so we can get it out of this little wood or uh, stone hut that we made. Uh, that was just temporary. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, let's see, where's like a nice flat spot? So this is kind of a decent area, but the problem is it's not flat at all which can be some problem uh maybe over here it doesn't need to be super large since all the cooking stuff's already in there but so maybe i'll try right here and i'll look around build something up maybe i'll put it right here in the corner this is semi-flat and uh get something built up and then i'll bring you all back all right, guys, so we went ahead and built a brick house so that we can use it as our crafting shed kind of area. Um, so building the brick stuff is a huge pain, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So first of all, there's two different things. There's cement and concrete, which is for the ceiling and the foundation, and then brick for the walls, door frames, window frames, that kind of thing. But to make it, first you have to go gather up claystone and limestone, which you get from regular rocks and metal rocks using the obsidian pick. And then, you throw into the cement mixer, which you have to make, cementing paste and limestone to make fresh clay or fresh cement, which expires in like five to 10 minutes. And then you also have to take the clay stone and limestone and put it in a hand mill to make clay. You then take that clay and put it in a forge and it makes brick. The whole process takes a damn long time, which is why I have four different forges going. But once you get that done, you can go ahead and build it. It's supposed to be as strong as stone or even stronger. I believe it has higher health than normal stone structures. So now what we got to do is start crafting up. Uh, let's get up. Crafting up all of the crafting stations that we need so we can go ahead and get them in there. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting that done and then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys. So we have got all the crafting stations made, at least as far as I know. There's quite a few of new ones with Primitive Plus, but... We'll lay down some of the good old originals first. So we got the smithy. I put smithy, smithy in number one. Yes. So we've got the smithy, which we'll go ahead and lay over here in this corner. Uh, maybe I'll just like this so I can actually see what I'm doing there. Okay. Turn it a little left. Turn a little bit to the right. A little bit more. And that looks pretty straight. Let's see how close we can get it to the wall. That is the one thing I've always hated about the smithies. You can't get it super close. Let's start on this side, maybe. Uh, you know what? I think I'd prefer maybe we turn it to the side. No, this is just fine. Okay. Okay, a little closer, a little closer, a little back, a little over. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and put the construction bench right next to it, since that is similar kind of thing. Okay, okay, they seem to be lined up just right. I'll put it right there on this side. Almost looks like it's an extension of it. Perfect. Okay, now we got mortals, mortar and pestles and forges and all sorts of other stuff. I'm thinking, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and look at the stuff that goes outside because there is a number of things that go outside. We've got like these smokehouse things. There's a wood storage shed bin thing which we'll leave out here, I think. Uh, I think we'll put that up here against the wall. So let's kind of... Throw one of that right here. Huh. And it's just like an empty little rack, but it's used for storing wood. Oh, wooden items as well. Interesting. We'll have to play with that, see what that kind of does. We've also got two of these smoke houses, which I want to put more closer to this side. And uh, I think these are used kind of like big outdoor fridges. I mean, you could put them inside, but I think I'd rather put them out here. Let's see how that looks. That ah, looks pretty cool. All right, and we made two of those, so we'll go ahead and throw another one right next to it. Just like, like so. Very cool. Uh, there's also a windmill, which is used to grind things, so I think it's more of a crafting station, so we'll go ahead and throw that over here. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, uh, what else do we have that, that there is, or anything else that goes outside? Let's look at the tanning rack. Uh, which slot did we just put that in? One. Nah, that could be an inside thing. I think that's more of an inside thing. 
But yeah, anyways, I'll go ahead and put the rest of these suckers up and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so we have everything placed now. I think I've covered everything. We have an oil tanker up here to store oil. We have got our lumber stations. We have got our uh, smoke houses. We have got our wood storage shed, our windmill, all the crafting stations inside, forges and smithies and construction things and tanning things, cement mixers and grinders and all the storage we could ever want. And it's all set up and good to go. Um, and overall, this whole little thing's coming out to look pretty nice. My kind of vision for this when I started was to make it kind of like a, like a mini village or town area, right? So we've, that's why I'm starting to do a little more of the aesthetic things. We have a little fire pit area. Um, I did take down the temporary stone house that I had built. And uh, hope, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. But the next thing we're gonna need, cause we wanna start taming soon, but I don't just wanna leave this stuff undefended, is a big wall. So I'm not really quite sure how I wanna make the wall. I don't know. So I could make it out of brick. Could I make it out of brick? Brick. Uh, no, maybe cement or concrete. Concrete. No, where do I make the, I could have sworn there were some like big old dino gates. Yeah, there is brick dinosaur gateway. So we make it the construction table. So let's look at that and what that would cost. Uh, da, 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 da. The brick stuff is so expensive, it's insane. Dino, okay, so we got lumber, 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 a concrete gate, which takes fresh cement and steel. Oh, that's quite expensive. And uh, 450 brick for one? For one. Really? Okay, so not going brick. I mean, there's really no point to go brick over stone because the only thing that can break uh, what we have, come on, get out of there, because uh, we have no gigas on the server, is the Alpha Rex. And the chance of running an Alpha Rex and him destroying us before we can lead him away is pretty small. So we might just have to do regular stone because we can get that stuff super easy. Um, now we could do Behemoth all the way around. That's what I normally do. But maybe I'll actually do just actual walls. I haven't done that in a long time. I don't know, but either way, I'm gonna go gather up an insane amount of materials and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I have got the materials and I built the wall and check it out. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm happy with it. What I did was I started here on the other side of the fire pit, um, right up to the edge and kind of just worked it down. I did four high in the walls with a window on top for a little bit of a looking better, a little aesthetics. Um, then I did a dino gates and in between those dino gates is a behemoth gate. And I did that on both sides. I think I could have made it bigger and I think I might eventually have to expand because after we make our garden which is our next big project which i think is going to go here there's not going to be a ton of room for dino storage without blocking one of these doors and so i'll have to figure that out not really sure yet i'm also not really sure how happy i am with the way the wall looks this is how i always used to do it back in the day uh, back when i did official servers and whatnot but i just don't know because the behemoth gates do look super ridiculous sticking up that high I don't know, I'll think about it, but for now it definitely works. Keep stuff out of our base, keep us safe. But for today, guys, I think that is gonna be plenty of building. We did an absolute ton of stuff. I mean, we built our main house, we built our crafting room, all the different stations. We built a wall, it was just completely out of hand. Uh, oh, did I see damage numbers? No. So for today, I do think that is gonna be it. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you uh, haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe and share and thumbs up or whatever, whatever it is you wanna do. You can always hit me up at all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google Plus. Um, and you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. Uh, before today, guys, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.